Hey all, welcome to Orbit Farm. Well, these chicks are now in week number two, and we have got about 150 chicks. As you can see, there's now an, a number increase in this. This is about 125 chicks. And normally I say I will be selling 100, the other 25 is for family consumption. But I don't. I know that those 25, there's no way we're going to consume any 25 of those in any given time. But I just put a bit extra so that I also take a few from here for all our personal use. So what is the best way, how best can I sell my chickens? So I think there are five places where you can sell your chickens. And these are the first five simple places that I always say that is always best. When you start doing broilers, broilers, as I said, is always consistent money. And that consistent money means that the first place on protocol of selling your chickens is actually by your house. By just putting an advert that we sell chickens here, one, people in your neighborhood will automatically know that you have got chickens available and they're at what price. And if they're obviously at normal price whereby everyone is competitive enough, you will find buyers for them. That you, it's very easy to do. So first protocol of business of this business is obviously the people around you. The way you stay, if you just put up a sign that you've got chickens, people will buy your chickens. That is number one. Number two, we go on to church. Just by going to church, if you're a person who goes to church, by telling your community that, hey, I've got chickens, they will support you because they also see that you're doing something. And especially if your chickens are big, the correct size and the correct price, they will buy from you. That is a market for you. Third place that we can then go with your chickens is we can then go to your local, um, to your local place as in your the shops, shopping center around you. You put up your own cage there, you say you've got chickens here, people will buy. You will find buyers. There is an, obviously a market for it because there are people who will obviously be wanting chickens. Some will want them um, slaughtered already. Some want them full as full birds. You will be able to sell them at, at your local super, um, shopping center area. If you do not have that, if you do not want to do that kind of business and you do not have time for that business, you then probably go to your, like your Mbare Msika kind of area whereby you then sell to those, to the people who want to buy those chickens, which are live, but normally at that price is now not the same price as you would have been buying them at your, at your local, as, as if you're selling them to an individual. They will now want a bulk price, which means that you need to reduce your, the selling price. Number four, which I think is a very good one, but you also need to do is look for people who have got canteens. Yes, people who have got canteens are the people who will be able to buy from you because they will be wanting to sell to buy your chickens and sell them to, to the customers. Canteen business has got money and they will be the ones who are going to be very much willing to buy your chickens. As long as the size is right and the price is right, they will obviously buy your chickens. And as long as you make sure that you've got a consistent amount of chickens that they want, you will become their first choice. And then you can actually work out a very good deal. Some deals is, hey, I give you my chickens in the morning. Tomorrow when I come and give you the next batch of chickens, you give me the batch of the money for the previous chickens. And once you've worked out a deal like that, then you will actually be finding that, hey, you're actually making a bit of money. These are the simple ones which I'm just doing. I do not want to go into complex ones of, of saying that hey, because these figures that I'm talking are figures which are manageable for a person who's a first-time starter. This, you can actually start off with 25 chickens whereby you're raising 25 chickens by yourself all the way until you get to very big numbers. And once you get to those kind of numbers, then you will be, then have a different kind of feel for a different kind of market. So those are the four major ones which I believe. Another place which you can then go to is butchers. But butchers is a bit difficult. Why I say difficult is because butchers want you to supply per kg. They do not want you to supply per bird. But if you're lucky and the butcher wants you to supply per bird, then you go ahead and then you supply them per bird and then you agree on a price. For butchers, I'm a bit more skeptical. I would prefer you to get your money up front because I believe that butchers, I have dealt with butchers before and butchers tend to want to squeeze you a lot. And when they squeeze you, you do not get your money on time and you end up running into losses. So butchers, I would not put them high on my list of companies to deal with. This goes before we even go into contract farming because contract farming is a whole deal on its own which needs you to be, which needs a lot of things before you can become a set who is doing contract farming. 
But when you're doing this kind of small scale farming, start off with as small as 25. 25 chicks, just for you to learn. Because imagine you, you, with 25 chicks, I don't think you'll even spend more than 125 from start to finish. And even if you run out of money, you, I, you can find someone to help you with a few, few 10, 15 dollars to buy feed when you need to buy feed. After that, then you'll be able to do. But the easiest one is that your easiest market, which will always, always be easy, is your people around you, the, your neighbors. Your neighbors are the first people who will buy your chicken because they do not want to go far to look for, um, for meat. Once you've got your chickens, your chickens, if they're correctly priced, they will buy them. So I think those are the five easy places to start selling your broilers to before we go into the complete completed one about how to do contract farming and how best contract farming is and which companies do contract farming i think that's a video for another day but for here thank you very much thank you for liking for those who have not liked please like and subscribe to the channel until next time have a good day